Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a critical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taurus. They seem to preserve the customs of our world. Also, I am told. More than this, I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Taurus is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official city business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taurus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Yes, what's in your mind? You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just, I, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Vulcan Gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Vulcans now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. 
Egypt. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm -hmm. I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization across. If anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay him a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement instead of always going after each other. Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. You know, they're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davit's men are having trouble down there. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Sith business. No problem. Didn't work. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Kufinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan. Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Two Fingers. I haven't seen you around here before. 
You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? What? Why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? <laughs> This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. <laughs>
You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Eh, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Questions? I don't have to answer your questions just because you beat me in the ring. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Oh, well, okay. Goodbye, then. Did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. That's better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. Don't bother me. I don't speak to the help. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one big city, but it's golden years. From what I hear, the that's all. You got it. No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I'd guess you've experienced many lonely evenings, something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taras can't stand us Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. That's true, but people don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. <laughs> That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a shift at the military base. But some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ships end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. Well, 
Body Vaughn, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quit crowding my gambling table. My name is... You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. 50 credits gets you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Back again? No, of course, of course. No sense at Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. 
Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your breath. So, move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing auto prints today. I don't want to be mobbed. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway. <laughs> Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. I saw you're getting a Pazak lesson from that old fossil Garuk. Learning the rules of Pazak is easy, but actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Normally, I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play a hand? I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> Pazak is not for everyone. It requires both nerve and skill. Perhaps you should practice before risking your credits against such a skilled player as myself. <laughs> Unless you like losing. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Go To the equipment emporium fine because of the Sith quarantine
Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No! Help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> Take a loan from Davik. No, I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. <laughs> You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him 100 credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. You see, I'm busy with my duties. Go talk to Zelka if you need something. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Taras. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Now, this is a hospital of sorts, though my resources are quite limited since the Sith quarantined the planet. I provide basic medical services to all citizens of and visitors to Terrace. I have extensive medical training, and even with the lack of resources, I can treat most injuries or ailments right here at the center. Except for the rat ghoul disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. 
It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Rakul disease, of course. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? Republic escape pods? I... No. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. The Sith were already here, asking these same questions. I'll tell you what I told them. I don't know anything about those pods. Now, is there something else you need? I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I... I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Do you want to know about Upper Terrace, or are you more interested in Lower Terrace and the Undercity? The people here in the Upper City generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, arrogant, even prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the Lower City. Maybe if more people in the Upper City weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the Lower City and the Undercity. The lower city has been overrun by swoop gangs and thugs. If you're going to travel down there, you'd better go armed. If you don't get attacked by one of the swoop gangs, you'll probably end up beaten and robbed by one of Davik's thugs. Soon it will be as bad as the Undercity. Davik is the resident crime lord of Terrace. He deals in stolen goods, he trades in slaves and contraband, and it would take a month to list all the people he's made disappear. His slimy grasp even reaches here into Upper Terrace. Most of the shops pay him protection money, so he'll leave them alone. Yeah, the man is nothing but a thug. I guess I'm lucky. Since my medical facility doesn't make any profits, Davik doesn't bother me. But if you ask me, he's no better than the Sith.
The people here in the upper city generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, arrogant, even prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the lower city. Maybe if more people in the upper city weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the lower city and the undercity. The undercity is a wasteland crawling with flesh-eating mutants called rat ghouls. I feel sorry for the outcasts that are forced to live there. Justice here on Terrace is swift and harsh. There are only two punishments, execution or banishment to the Undercity. Anyone banished can never return on pain of death. Even their descendants are forced to live in the depths beneath our great cities. Whenever I can, I send supplies to the Undercity to help ease the misery of their lives. Although there is nothing I can do to help those infected with the Rakul disease. Goodbye, and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. No problem. Got it. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. You, you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless... unless you're a friend of the Republic. I, uh... I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they are hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right... Goodbye, and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need... Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul Serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can, if you can get the cure. Come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women. It's the Teresian dream, right? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away.
Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rat Ghoul Serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Remember. have to kill me? I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here. I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean you're not here to kill me? But uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since, but sooner or later someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits, I'm a dead man. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I'd better go give this to Davik right away.
wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. 